In two short days, hockey history will be made in Vancouver in Rogers Arena. Daniel and Henrik Sedin will receive the highest honor that can be bestowed upon a Vancouver Canuck, Jersey Retirement. Two brothers, two players, two legends, two numbers, 22 and 33, will rise as one. An enduring reminder of their greatness on the ice and the strength of their character throughout our community. In 50 seasons of Canucks hockey, only four players have had their numbers retired. Four Canuck legends. When seeking to define what is a Canuck, look no further than Stan Smeal. Steamer only knew one way to play the game. Give everything, every shift, every game, every season. He was proud to be called a Canuck the day he was drafted in 1978. He was proud to lead and captain Vancouver to the Stanley Cup final for the first time. And remains proud today to call himself a Canuck. He is the rightful first Canuck to have his number retired and hang from the Raptors. Please welcome number 12, the Steamer, over 40 years with the Canucks, Stan Smeal. At 21 years of age, he was the youngest captain in the NHL, a natural leader. His inspirational play in the spring of 1994 guided the Canucks to Game 7 of the Stanley Cup Final for the first time. For 20 years, he worked his heart off the ice is on, always with humility. His commitment and perseverance has enriched thousands of lives throughout our province. His considerable efforts recognized when Trevor was invested as a member of the Order of Canada. Few have accomplished more in the game than number 16, Trevor Linden. Marcus Naslin served seven years as captain of the Canucks with integrity, professionalism, and a mentoring nature. For seven consecutive seasons, he led the team in scoring and was the first Canuck to win the Lester B. Pearson Award as league MVP, as voted on by his fellow players. And boy, does this guy ever deserve this. The Canucks captain, he's done it all this year. As a member of the West Coast Express, hockey's most dominant and entertaining line, his wicked wrist shot and the ability to create scoring chances from anywhere brought fans out of their seats every time he touched the ice. Marcus Daslin is back. He's from the same hometown as Daniel and Henrik and was their first captain, number 19, Marcus Naslin. From the much-anticipated launch of the Russian rocket, November 5, 1991, until his final shift, Pavel Burry was the most explosive, entertaining, and exciting player to ever wear a Canuck uniform. Burry speeding in! Every shift offered the opportunity of another unforgettable memory. Pavel loved to score goals. He wanted to score important goals and always wanted to do something special for the fans. Do something the fans the would Pavel always Murray. remember. Clear right in. Yeah, it scores! Pavel Burry has won it in overtime! Hello, Canuck fans. Having my jersey retired with the stand Trevor Marcus and soon Salins is one of the greatest honors of my life. I was hoping to be there to celebrate with you. Unfortunately, cannot be in Vancouver for the ceremony, but I wanted to let you know how much the fans, the city, and the Canucks mean to me. 
It's a very special season in Vancouver. And I know the celebration will be great. Enjoy Sydney week and the rest of the season. It's exciting to see the Canucks pushing for the playoffs again. Good luck. I promise I will see you again soon. Four Canuck legends, cornerstones of excellence, shining reflections on our colorful past and enduring presence, a constant source of inspiration for a bright future. Stan, Trevor, Marcus, would you please direct your attention to the Raptors as we unveil a new chapter in Canucks history. Would Roman Yossi and Bo Horvat please join our three legends at center ice for a very special ceremonial face-off. Thanks, Roman. Thanks, Bo. Thanks, Marcus, Trevor, Pavel, and Stan. And thank you, fans, for inspiring these legends onto greatness.